Okay. Is it? Hello. Okay. Hello. We are live finally. Hello. Samperia family. I have to introduce myself because it's my first live. Yeah, I joined the Samperia family like one month ago, and it's my first show time. I'm Lucrezia. I'm Italian, as almost everyone in Samperia. And I'm, I'm working in the marketing department. And today we are here with Anna. So I'll, I'll give you a couple of minutes to introduce you, yourself, Anna. So Hello, audience. Lucrezia. Uh, so as Lucrezia introduced me, I'm Anna. Um, I live in UK. Um, I was born in Poland, but I've moved to UK about 16 years ago. And this is where my journey started. Um, I've started crafting about six years ago, uh, trying different mediums, experimenting, falling in love with mixed media and scrapbooking. So this is my current passion. And outside my passion, I'm working in chemist. I'm a pharmacist assistant doing a dispensary. Wow. So it is quite big responsibility to do on a daily basis. But today I'm here with you and for you and I hope you will grab the inspiration uh, you will maybe learn some tips from me and we're all going to have a good time. Hopefully, well, of course, yes. So before starting, uh, guys, uh, Samperia family, remember to like and share this live in order to win a fantastic pizza box. I have one here with me. So Make sure to like and subscribe yeah, and, and share the video. And share the video, of course. Share, share the video to win this fantastic pizza box. Today, today it's also uh, a big day, an announcement day. In uh, our uh, lab, last lives, so we have announced our new collection. And today we will announce another collection, the fantastic celebration collection by Joanna Rivero. So stay with us till the end of this live to see the presentation, to see the video. Stay there, stay there. I can see people joining us. Hello, everybody. Yeah, hello, hello, David. everybody. Hello, David. Hello, Hello Cindy. Cindy. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Omar. <laughs> oh, so many of you. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm you are so happy here. to see all these people. Uh, hello, Nicoletta from Romania. Hello. Good afternoon, hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jill. Okay. Oh, Jill so, is here. Hello, Jill. Yeah, hello, Jill. Hi. So many people today. Oh, how so, are you? Anna, uh, tell, some, uh, tell us something about your project. What are we going to do today? So today we're going to make this mixed media heart panel, which is wow. full of layers, full of details. And I hope you will enjoy the whole process and will grab the inspiration and maybe create something similar. Perfect. And do you have also other projects to show us? Uh, yeah, I got a couple. I don't have many. Uh, I've got a couple. Uh, this one was made also with amazing uh, Altelia Des Art collection designed by Sarah Elkabenders. Wow. Beautiful. I've used the uh, frame and rice papers and mm -hmm. decorated stamping, layers, texture, and all. And I think I that will start doing I some crafts. That <laughs> <laughs> with all these lives i will learn something and i also created this art journal using my beloved collection blue land i absolutely love and adore this collection absolutely amazing so i created art journal and if you would like to take a closer look oh here we are there's loads of different elements there so yeah, it's all about passion, it's all about um, falling in love with mixed media. So I hope I will share this passion with you all today and you will enjoy the whole process. Perfect. So we are ready to, to start, I think. And... Oh, hello, Debbie. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. You. hello, Katya. Oh, Katya from my team. Hello, Katya. Oh, nice. Hello, Tizzy from Luxembourg. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, how lovely. Nice Thank you, Danka. Hi, hello, Samantha. Hi. <laughs> oh, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Nice to see you here. Now, if you want to see more projects from me, you can follow yeah. me on my social medias. You can find me on YouTube, which is Anna's Passion. 
You can also find me on Facebook, which is also Anna's Passion. And you can follow me on Instagram, which is Anna Hubert01. I would love you if you would join me all there and maybe grab some inspiration from me. That will be perfect. Of course they will. Of course they will, for sure. Hello Thank from you. UK. Hello, Caroline. Hello from UK. Hello. We are How lovely. So People lovely. all over the world. Yeah. Hello um, from Washington. My gosh, uh, even Washington. Hi, Washington. Hi, Washington. Hi, hello. <laughs> How awesome. Thank you. Okay. Some, someone has, uh, we will see. Hello, Joanna. Hey, oh, Joanna. Hello. Where are you from, Joanna? I, I think maybe Spain, Latin America, Popa. It's a common surname. Hello <laughs> from Canada. Hi, Gloria. Hello, David. David is from Poland. He's an amazing yes. artist as well. And he's also Hello, an amazing Hi, friend. David. Oh, nice. Oh, hello, buenos, Sylvia. Buenos dias, Alicia. Buenos hello, dias. everyone. Hola, everyone. That's, that's <laughs> as as I can go with Spanish, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I know oh, just a few words gosh. in Spanish, so don't worry. It's the same Hello, for Marie. Me. Hello, Penny. Oh, gosh, how many beautiful, crafty people. Perfect. Oh, Belinda. Hello, Belinda. Hi. Hi, Belinda. Hi, hello. Wow. Thank you for coming, Belinda. Oh, I'm so happy with all this Stamperia family because the our crowd is so kind. It's so warm and it's really like a family. So we are really, really lucky. Buenos the dias. Family is the best, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, oh we've got Ruja, Ruja, hello Ruja, Dzień dobry. We've got people from Poland. Hello Poland. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Wow. Thank you so much everyone. It's it's absolutely amazing that you've made the time to come and join me today and I hope we're going to all have a good time. Of course we will with your beautiful creations. Of course, we will find so many inspirations, so really don't worry. And uh, hello, everyone. Okay. I see many new people, so I will repeat myself. Guys, stay with us till the end because we will undercover uh, another new collection, Celebration by Joanna uh, Rivero. So stay with us till the end and don't forget to like and share to win a fantastic pizza box. So, okay. Oh, Sue's saying hello, Anna, and our new Giovanni replacement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll hello. See, we'll see, we'll see. As I said before, maybe till the uh, at the end of the live, uh, they will fire me because I, I'm too noisy. And <laughs> <laughs> you can move in with me. I'll take yeah. you in. <laughs> <laughs> I will start doing crafting. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you crafting. <laughs> Hi from Belgium. Hi, hello, hello. Martina. Hello, Sylvie. Hello. Oh, how lovely. Oh. Welcome so, to our fun. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our fun. Yes, it's all about <laughs> having fun. <laughs> yes, it's all about having fun. Hello to my sister, my, my crafty sister, Isabella. Hello, my beautiful crafty sister. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. How amazing. It's all Thank you, for saying that I'm not the, the replacement and that I'm doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so nice. Welcome everyone once again. Thank you so much for being here. And I think we can just maybe get going, shall we? Oh yeah, yes, of course. I will put our video presentation while you're preparing yourself and switching the camera, okay? Perfect, thank Perfect. you. This is our atelier presentation, sir.
Okay. You will have the option. Here we are. Okay, I will reduce myself to give you enough space for your work so we can see better. We can see it much better. Okay, perfect. I think we are having a good vision. If anything, yeah. I need to adjust it, then uh, please let me know and we shall start. Okay, perfect. So today we are using Atelier des Arts by Sarah Alcobendas. Yes, we are working with a beautiful Atelier des Arts by Sarah Alcobendas. Do you want me to give you a quick flip through this collection? If there is anyone who don't know this collection, maybe we'll yes, have inspiration and maybe... I'm, I'm brand new, so I will so I, so I will see the inside of this scrapbooking. <laughs> but I, I, I've seen only the outside because I'm doing all the pizza boxes. <laughs> Bef so look at you, before you know it, you will be all into crafting. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> So this is beautiful collection by our mm -hmm. amazing Sarah Alcobendas. We've got so many details. We can fussy cut, we can use them on scrapbooking layouts, we can use them on mixed media projects. Take a look how many things we can fussy cut, how many things we can use to build our composition. We've got beautiful window, we've got some frames, we've got brushes. Amazing, absolutely amazing. There's also a few Beautiful backgrounds, absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Take a look at this door, how gorgeous. Beautiful, really a beautiful collection. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and, and I see also people in, in our crowd that they are loving this collection. So I'm really happy about that. Amazing. Yes, there's nothing not to love about this collection. It's absolutely perfect. And there's so many things you can you can use onto your pro on your project. So many, so many, so many to choose from. This this composition, this layouts, and everything here is wow. just wow, masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Absolutely Marvelous. stunning. Really, really beautiful. I love these flowers. I love them. All right, they are gorgeous, mm -hmm. aren't they? And we've got some gorgeous frames what we can use for layouts mm -hmm. to build up our compositions as well. We've got some travel suitcases. We've got beautiful, beautiful um, color palettes. We've got some paints and all. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some parts missing because I was using them on a project as well. And we've got some some lovely, lovely, lovely pages. Absolutely beautiful. So Sarah, well done to you, my dear. You you've absolutely smashed this. Yeah, it's, it's so full of colors. It's really beautiful. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. It's full of rainbow. Mm -hmm. And we have some lots of elements on the last page to fasten cut as well to use on any project. So this is the back of the collection. Just give you a bit of a close up. There we go. So today for my project, I will mm -hmm. be using this page. And this is my wooden panel, what I will be working on. So I'm going to just slowly get into it. If you have any questions, if you have um, anything you would like me to clarify, then please drop me a comment and I will try to keep an eye on the chat, which is moving so Sorry, Anna, no, but I will help you if there are some questions. I will read them and you can answer while working. So I will keep an eye on the chat. Of course, amazing Lucrezia is my my right hand here today. Thank you so much, Lucrezia. Oh, it's a pleasure for me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's have oh. this fun time together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just place my wooden hat on my page and I'm going to just draw it round and then I will just fussy cut. There we go. So we're just starting. Nothing complicated, nothing to worry about. You don't have to be super precise because with mixed media project, some areas will be covered and you can always add a shadow on the edges if they're not so even. So you don't have to concentrate as much on that. Oh. Here we go. So I'm going to just roughly cut that now and then I will take that out 
of my way. And then I will just cut here now. There we go. You can also use rice paper for that uh, project. It also available from service collection. It's absolutely amazing to use it on your mixed media as well. So if you want to work with uh, paper or if you want to use rice paper, then it's absolutely your choice. You've got alternative to choose from. Nice. Really nice. So you can either use the scrapbooking and the rice paper. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the choice is absolutely yours, whatever rocks your boat. They are absolutely gorgeous. So don't think too much. Just grab mm -hmm. them and That's play. Really there we go. So we've got the heart cut out. And then we can just glue it to our base. And for that, I will be using craft glue. Craft glue, okay. Craft glue. And the coat oh. here, craft glue, we have DC31M, if anyone fancy okay. purchase that. DC31M, okay. DC31M, that's your, that's your friend, that's your crafty glue. Okay, so I'm going to do supply glue directly onto my wooden panel and then I will stick my paper to it. Okay, Alison is asking if, uh, uh, can, can you buy the wooden heart from uh, Stamperia? No, unfortunately, unfortunately no, uh, Alison, but... We will take this as a, as a suggestion, of course. Yeah, that will be lovely. If you don't have a wooden panel, then you don't have to worry about it. You can use a cardboard. Anything will work absolutely perfect. It's just for your base, so your project will be, you know, sturdy because you will be adding mediums on top and you will be building the composition. So it has to be just, you know, um, sturdy enough to hold everything together. Okay, nice. But it will be lovely, Stamperia, if you may come up with some beautiful wooden designs. That will be <laughs> I, will, I will take notes and, and then give, give these notes to, to my bosses. Inspire <laughs> 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 me, maybe not. <laughs> There's too say. many requests, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they, they will say, look at you, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you are here since one month. <laughs> You were a newbie and you were already demanding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's all about having a good time. It's all about having a passion. It's all about having, you know, some something what you enjoy in your life, isn't it? Yeah, I totally agree with you. So I'm going to just make a hole in my heart because we can, we can put the string back on and we can put that heart on the wall as a decoration for example if anyone would like to maybe do that okay so we've got our base ready okay so i'm gonna just rinse my brush and then we can move on i'll just move it into center so it will be more visible take a look how many details we have on this background how gorgeous this composition is already beautiful Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really, really colorful uh, with all that brushes. Really nice. Very, very nice. For, for, for this period, I, d I don't know what weather do you have in uh, what, where, where you are, but here in uh, Budapest, it's almost raining. So, oh, it's <laughs> so really I, I can see some sparkles of uh, summer <laughs> only in, in this beautiful collection. <laughs> <laughs> it's really ugly day today in UK. It's raining and it's windy, so no, no. It's yuck, yuck, yuck. But we're all having a good time here. We're all having a crafty session, so I'm hoping that everyone is enjoying so far. Okay, next step, what we need to do, we have to add gesso. Because our background it is quite busy and we want to just push it down because we will be building layers and layers here, so we just want to fade it down a little bit. And for that, I will be using white gesso. Okay. And the code for gesso is K3 
P08N. So we've got gesso. And because gesso is your tooth, it's your primer, and because it is quite thick, I'm going to dilute it with the water because I don't want to cover my background completely. I want to just give a nice, like a gesso wash there. So I'm going to just apply a bit of it on the mat and dilute it with the water, and then I will apply on my project. Like so. Okay, nice. I have to learn all these techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Take a note of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm taking notes about the products and everything so I can start doing something. Yes, that'd be lovely if you share your inspiration with us. <laughs> and before you know it, like I said, you will be into crafting and you will enjoy it. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Yeah, of course. There we go. So, can you see what the difference it makes? The, the background is not as busy, it's not as striky when it's like uh, covered with a gesso wash. It is a little bit faded down. So, that way we can start building our beautiful layers and layers and create our composition. But our background still will be visible. We're not giving a full coverage to our background. There we go. Oh, hello, Alison. Hello, Alison. We've got Alison joining us. Thank you, Samantha. You guys are doing a fantastic job together. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. You are star. I've watched your presentations as well, and your project, it was, wow, magnificent, absolutely gorgeous. There's so many crafty friends doing absolutely amazing mm. job. And oh, it's just family, family, crafty family is the best, honestly. Oh, the best. yeah. It's absolutely the best. Can you see what's the difference? I've done that on purpose. If you wouldn't use diluted gesso, you will get pretty much full coverage. But if you dilute it with water, you get a nice wash, so your background is still peeking through. There we go. So that, that's a little tip for you. If you don't want to cover your background completely, dilute your gesso with a little bit of water. If you are going for full coverage, if you're not playing any background underneath, then by all means, go for white gesso directly. Atelier des Arts, yes. Atelier des Arts by Sarah Alcobendas is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We all have to agree on that. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so I'm going to just give a quick dry to my background. So it will be a little bit noisy for time being. Oh, but don't worry. I will, be, I will be back in a second or so. Okay, I will read some comments uh, a while. Okay, Patty says, use the Atelier des Arts for the first time and add to order more. Love it. Yes, Patty, you should. It's a really beautiful collection so colorful with so many de details and as as you can see from anna you can create so many beautiful things then we have uh carolina i never tried it with uh, with gesso in this way it is a a, a good inspiration thank you oh i'm uh, i'm so happy that this live can inspire so many people in uh, creating and doing things okay anna we are here okay perfect Perfect. So we've got our background ready. Now we can add more colors to our background. So it will not be as plain as now. We can just make it a little bit more pop. And for that, I will be using this beautiful Allegro paint, turquoise, Indian turquoise. So the code is KAL109. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to squirt a little bit on my glass mat and I also will add Allegro Nature Green, which is KAL30. Perfect. So I'm going for quite a greenish, bluish color, spring theme, put it that way, maybe. 
and if you want to make it your project a little bit more um grungy maybe a little bit more um character then you can go for different colors for example brown and cream or yellow whatever rocks your boat danka says every day you learn a new tip for being better thank you danka oh you're most welcome you're most welcome it's all my pleasure to share all this details all this inspiration with you all i'm so grateful that it is inspiring you and you're taking some some tips from me absolutely awesome so can you see how different it makes when we add this just a wash of the blue so we've got our background still visible but it's changed the color on top and i'm going to do exactly the same with my green so i'm just diluting with the water i'm not using the um direct color because obviously it will cover my um project so i just want to add a little bit of a wash of the green and blue there we go like so our people in the comments are loving the colors that you are using oh isn't it gorgeous i love it yeah. too they are saying love the pink colors beautiful colors uh, thank you people for your love oh amazing thank you so much everyone you are the best crafty family is the best yeah uh, Anna, everyone is saying hi hello mariella uh, hello, thank you. hello karen hello oh how amazing how many lovely crafty friends here amazing thank you so much everyone okay so i think i'm happy with with what i've got here so far now if you want to add more colors to it for example you can add a little bit white just to uh, light it up a little bit or you can add a little bit of yellow or brown like i said to make it more you know grungy to to pop a little bit more i'm happy with that because i would like to add more layers and layers with uh, more mediums and things what i will be using in a minute so i'm going to just give a quick dry to my uh, colors and i will carry on in a second okay i will be back okay uh, Let, letty says beautiful hi hi letty how are you uh, annette says yes i love the colors yeah i think that the colors are beautiful and perfect for all, almost summer uh, we we are ending the this spring so stand period done forever and ever thank you patricia thank you so so many love today so many people uh thank you mariel for liking and sharing our live remember guys like and share this live to win a fantastic pizza box oh and amazing here we are Anna. amazing amazing thank you so much everyone i must say i like those colors too this is my cup of tea because i'm a blue lover I love absolutely, absolutely to pieces blue color, all the shades of blue and green as well. So that's definitely my cup of tea. Okay, so my next step with the project, I will be using beautiful stamp set collection from oh, Sarah as well. And the code is WTKC199. And for my project, because it's all about the paints, it's all about the brushes, I will use the splatters. So I'm going to go for this and this stamp. And I will just stamp randomly just to add a bit of a character to my background. It doesn't have to be super precise. We just have to uh, forget about being super precise because that's not what it's all about. With mixed media, like I said earlier, some areas will be covered um, because when you paint in, you can also make some splotches, you know, uh, just on purpose. So this is this is what I'm aiming for. Here we go, like so. Oh, nice. So I'm just playing with my stamp. As you can see, I'm not transferring full image. I'm just randomly like so here we go so i'm happy with that i will add another one as well 
There we go. You can create so many things with these stamps. They are oh. so so versatile. Absolutely, absolutely. They are amazing. They are, you know, you can you can grab them and create maybe some art journal. You can use them on mixed media project, or you can even create something like a card. Why not? Annette says, can I see all these stamps? Of course, absolutely. So this is the whole set. We have an art, we have got David, we've got journal, we've got some lines, we've got brushes, we've got those paint plots what I've just used, we've got crackle, and we've got like a texture as well. Amazing. Really beautiful. It is lovely, really isn't it? Gorgeous. So the next stamp what I'm going to use is this crackle. And also I will add in few places just to add a bit of a character just to add a bit of a interest to my project so it will have layers and layers and details and details there we go give it close up how it looks oh amazing it looks really amazing thank you i'm so happy you are all enjoying the process and you all having a good time I'm enjoying a lot. I I said I will start doing these things because I'm enjoying everything. Oh, that will be awesome, Lucrezia, if you do. You, you you can't live without crafting. Honestly, you can't live without crafting. You have to do it. Right. So we are moving on to our next step. And now I will create some more texture to my project. Uh, I will be using this beautiful absolutely beautiful stencil take a look how gorgeous wow. it's really marvelous. the code is kstd073 if anyone would like to grab the stencil is absolutely amazing absolutely gorgeous you will love it you will enjoy it <laughs> there we go so we've got our stencil I I agree with you, Samantha. I'll be addicting, addicted in no time if I, if I start. <laughs> you will be, Lucrezia. And Samantha is absolutely right there. We're all addicted to crafting. We can't live without crafting our life, isn't it? So I will add this beautiful cream paste. The coat is K3P53. Okay, so take a look at this paste. Yummy, 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 yummy. Delicious, delicious, delicious. It's like a marshmallow paste. Really yummy. <laughs> so I'm going to just... I, I will be angry at the, uh, at, at the end of the live now that you have said that it, that it looks like, um, <laughs> like some food. <laughs> 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 yummy marshmallows yeah <laughs> you look no, at marshmallows and you're thinking for marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so i'm not very precise with this texture as you can see i'm not transferring full image of my stencil i just want to add a bit of a texture a little bit of interest because like i said some areas will be covered with my composition what i will be building on top so i don't have to be super super precise take a look at that wow isn't Beautiful. that gorgeous i love 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 this stencil is absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna just add a little bit on my edges as well here we go like so really really beautiful also people in the comments are loving the composition lalavi said beautiful uh, Sue says looks great because it it's really beautiful. Thank I you. I'm so happy you are loving it. Uh, this this collection by Sarah is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, once you have it, you will fall in love. You will love it. You will enjoy it. You can make so many different projects with this paper collection. So it's really, really, really worth to have it. So don't wait before it sells out. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, grab I... one before uh, the, while while we have it in stock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hurry up, hurry up because it sells out. <laughs> now I will go take a look. How gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous <laughs> texture we have there! Amazing. I love this stencil. I love whole collection what Sarah designed. So, just being honest. You just can't live without them. They are so super gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave that on side to let, let it dry. I'm not going to use uh, my heat gun for that. Uh, I will concentrate on my embellishments. And by the time I finish working on embellishments, my texture will dry itself. So I've created a oh, couple of uh, elements what I will be using to build my composition. And I've used soft clay. Perfect medium to work with your um, mold. Uh, if, for example, you're prompt to any allergy, this is a perfect project, a perfect medium for you to play with. So definitely you need to take it and have it and use it. Can we see the code? Absolutely. The code we have K3P58. Oh, if the camera catches Thank you. Here we go. That's the code for a soft clay. As you can see, mine is empty. I have to write the message for Giovanni to top it up my stock. <laughs> I, will, I will take all the notes, you know. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking notes and I will also say that we have to send you a, a, a ton of clay. Of soft oh, clay. yes. Please do that. <laughs> I, will be, I will be having a good time playing with the molds. Perfect. So for my embellishments, what I've created, I've used this mold and I've used this daisy flower. Oh, so beautiful. Two daisies. If anyone would like to cope for this mold is K3PTA495. Take a look how gorgeous this mold is, how many beautiful designs you can create. And I absolutely love this flower. I love this flower. I love butterfly. I've got, uh, I've fallen in love with this dragonfly. Everything is just so super beautiful. Yes, and they are perfect for summer. Absolutely, they are perfect for summer. You can create so many different beautiful composition with those flowers, with the dragonfly, with butterfly, or is even the bees there. So it's definitely worth to have it. So put it in your basket. And you will love it. The next one what I've used for those elements is this amazing mold, which is K3PTA497. And like I said earlier, I've used soft clay to make my elements. Obviously, you need to leave a couple of hours for them to get set and dry completely. And then you are good to go to apply mediums on them and, and play with them to use on your project. Perfect. So oh, hello, Aziza. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, so many lovely crafty friends are here. How are you doing? We have a question in Spanish. I will translate that for you. Uh, is preferable to use re uh, resin or mold? Uh, if you fancy no, to use resin in your molds, then by all means you can use that. Absolutely. You can use a soft clay, whatever you have on hand, you can use. I've given this tip for soft clay for people who may have any allergy. This is a soft product, a uh, safe product to use. If you fancy using the resin, then Stampuria has got a two, uh, uh, two component product of resin. So you can grab that one as well and create beautiful, beautiful embellishments. Absolutely. Okay, thank you for your tips, Anna. <laughs> you are most are really helping people in the comments. How lovely. So now I will be playing with my embellishments and I will add a bit of a color to them. So I will be using this Indian turquoise color what I've used for my background and also this nature green. Uh, you had the coats before, but I'll give you a close up in case you would like to just grab them down again. And I also will be using those two. Okay, KL05 and KAL36. 
Yes, so I have rosa cardadine and corn uh, color. And to finish off uh, highlighting all the details on my embellishments, I will be using titanium white, which is KAL102. So that's okay. the colors what we are playing with today. So what I will do first, I will just squirt a little bit of a color on my glass mat and then I will play with them and color my embellishments. I hope we all having a good time. Oh, me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so many things. So for me, it's perfect right now. I'm, I'm oh. enjoying it the most. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lucrezia. You are amazing. Like I said, you will love mixed media in no time. In no oh, time. Sure. oh, I tell you what, your whole salary will go we towards we mixed were. media project. <laughs> From you an will, employee to, to be a client, a new client. You'll be a bankrupt buying every this beautiful product, product from Stemperia. They're absolutely amazing. But come on, we all love them. We all enjoy mm -hmm. them. So I'm applying a bit of a yellow in center of my flower, like so. I'm not going for a full coverage. I'm just highlighting a little bit the petals and the center of them. And I'm hoping for the uh, paints to flow with a bit of a water, like so. You don't have to be full coverage. So this is what I'm aiming for. And I will repeat the same process on the second one. Sue is saying that you're doing a great presentation. Thank oh, you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. You are so very kind. Thank you so much. And also a lot of new people. So I have to remind you guys to stay with us till the end of this live because we will present uh, the new collection by uh, Joanna. Uh, Joanna Rivero, the name is Celebration. So stay with us till the end because we will present it. We, you, you will see the new video, the premiere of the collection. You like have to class. check it out. You can't miss it, guys. So you have to stay to the end to see all these beauties. So now I'm applying yellow um, onto my brush. <laughs> We have a question. May is asking, did you yeah. put the gesso before painting them? No, I'm not applying any gesso on them. I'm directly using the acrylic paints from uh, uh, Allegro. But if you if you think you need gesso as a primer on your clay, then by your mean, you can use that. Now, if you will be using, for example, resin, then it might be a good idea to use gesso to prime them. Then. Uh, your um, Allegro paints will stay and will flow nicer on your elements. But because I'm using a uh, soft clay, I don't have to do that. It's not essential. Uh, another question, Danka is asking, do you prime the molds? No, I'm not priming the molds with anything. Okay, perfect. I'm just using soft clay directly pressing firmly so my images will be nicely transferred and then just in a couple of seconds when I'm ready when I'm like you know smoothing the uh, uh, edges and smoothing the, the surface I'm just taking them out and leaving them to dry uh, air dry just for a couple of hours and they are good to go perfect nice uh Karen is saying, looking forward to getting the new products into the shop. Karen, we are waiting for you. Just don't forget to go to your favorite shop and ask for our products. Perfect. Yes, the new products. Oh, they are amazing. I've seen the new collection, Alice. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yes. Alice is always good to have Alice in your stash. Mm -hmm. So don't miss out, you have to have it. Uh, now you can pre-order from your favorite shops, so please do that, so you won't miss it. Till now, my favorite collection is horses, because when I was a child, I, I used to go horse riding, so for now, my favorite, it's definitely horses. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you into animals. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So now I'm just adding a bit of a, a yellow, on my uh, passion embellishment. 
Uh, and as I can see, I'm not super precise with that. I'm mean, just basically using a dry brush just to brush out all the leftovers from the yellow paint, what I've used for my other embellishment. There we go. So it's, nice. I'm just aiming to highlight the, the um, texture on this embellishment, just to highlight the word passion and the emblems underneath. So I'm just going to add a bit of a water just to help my paint to flow nice. There we go. Alison is saying, Alice is a must have. Yes, Alison, that's true. <laughs> it's a must Definitely. have. Yeah. Definitely, Alison is must have. We can't live without Alison. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, I and have to come course. up to the office and grab all these beautiful, yeah. beautiful products. So watch out for me. I'm on my way. <laughs> and for Alice too, you, you can pre-order it now from your favorite shop. So guys, run to your favorite shop and ask them to pre-order the new collections. Oh, you definitely need them, guys. Yeah. You definitely need them, guys. So now I'm going to use a mixture of yellow and green. Just a little bit. So I will change a little bit the shade of the green. It will come up a little bit lighter. And I will just paint the handle of my brush like so. You don't have to be super precise with that. Yeah, because we will be adding a bit a bit more layers on top, so you don't have to worry about it as so much. There we go. So we have our brush coming along. So this is what we have so far. And I can use the same mixture of a green and yellow on my smaller brushes as well. I haven't used these smaller brushes on my original project, but I thought, why not? We can use the smaller brushes to build up our composition and it will be just a little bit uh, bigger. It will be a little bit, you know, fuller maybe. Why not? We have it, we use it, we enjoy it. Oh, that's perfect. Caroline Insee, I'm loving this video and project. Thank you a lot, Caroline. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Caroline. You are so very kind. Yes, there people in the comments are really... Oh, Paula, I will have a new Alice uh, for each album. Oh, thank you, Bab thank oh, you, Paula. <laughs> amazing. It's, yeah, yes. it's, it's amazing that you are enjoying so much our new collections. Uh, it's crazy. Thank you so much. Yes, Alice is amazing. Alice is amazing, definitely. It's gorgeous. Here we go. So we've got our brushes there. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, three colors together, green, red and yellow. I'm aiming to achieve brown color because I don't have a brown color in my Allegro palette. Somehow I missed it. But, oh. but nothing stopping you. You can mix the colors, whatever you have. If mm -hmm. you're using prime colors, you can, uh, you know, mix them together and you can create your own shades, whatever rocks your boat. So this is this is what I'm doing now. So I've got mixture. This is the brown color we have. So I'm going to just add a little bit here and there. So my brush is not going to be super, super like, you know, taken out directly from the package. It will be just well used and loved what our mixed media is is all about, mm -hmm. isn't it? So okay. I'm going to just add a little bit of a highlights on my uh, brush like so and for that I'm gonna just use a finger why not we can play with the fingers fingers is your perfect tool to use so play with your fingers guys there as someone go. said the only limit is your own ima imagination so you can create like everything mixing everything using your fingers or brushes and that, that that's really amazing that's absolutely. why I will start <laughs> absolutely sky is your limit well, yeah. it shouldn't be your limit, but this is what we say, isn't it? 
but yeah it, with mixed media you, you don't have to have you know super super uh, you know precise coverage on anything because you can just add layers and layers on top and top and play with mediums as many as you love and enjoy so this is this is my advice to you all my beautiful crafty friends and i hope you will take that on board and we'll put that fear on site and we'll just love and enjoy the process okay so we've got that our oh, brush is nice. well loved and used now we will add a bit of more highlights to the smaller one as well yes Samperia family is loving your your work uh, paula is saying i love you love your painting and then sue is saying uh, finger painting is freeing <laughs> yes it is absolutely yeah. absolutely Lu Luciana is saying so lovely. Yes, th this work, this project, it's amazing. It's really beautiful. It's oh, so thank colorful. you. Thank you so much. You are loving it. We, we all we all have to agree on something that crafty family is the best and we all here to inspire each other to share the passion to to the products to the um project what we create and so our crafty family is just the best yeah so never leave crafty family stay with crafty family because that's the best time we are having I have an, an announcement in the end today. You will not see uh, the video from Joanna with her new collection. You will see the new collection of Dorota Kotovitz. It is called Sleeping Beauty. So today Ooh. we will be presenting Sleeping Beauty. Wow. I'm curious yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Giovanni told me that right now, so so stay with us till the end because you will see the video presentation of Sleeping Beauty by Dorota Kutovitz. And I'm sure we're all going to love that collection. I'm sure we're all going to put it in our basket and go check out to get it in our hands to play as soon as we can. As possible, yeah. Yes. Exactly. People will, will uh, run to their favorite shop and pre-order this beautiful Sleeping uh, sleeping Beauty collection because it, it's really, really amazing. It I is indeed. You, 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 you will see a beautiful collection. You will love it. You will enjoy it. You absolutely will have a great time to create with those beauties. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just grab my finger. Uh, grab a bit of a paint to so my finger and I will just highlight the texture on my flowers uh, If you're afraid you have too much paint on your finger, then just dab it off the other side like so and then just mm, Smush it like so there we go So take a look how our texture from our clay is popping how our petals come in alive so it's not as bland. It has this beautiful, beautiful petals. Every single one is nicely visible. So this is what we have. Nice. And as you can see, our fingers is our best friend. So. <laughs> oh, people go. in the in the comments are going crazy about this the Sleeping Beauty collection. <laughs> they are really. <laughs> <interested. laughs> oh my God, Sleeping Beauty or. I've asked him one, one before, ah, here, my son's favorite Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> the people are enjoying <laughs> our oh. new collection. Oh, bless. Everyone is loving it. So I'm, I'm adding the same uh, brown mixture what I've created to my embellishment passion. Oh, I can okay. hear the background. I think my camera is going a little bit funky. Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got that. Here we go. Now we can add a bit of the water. Here we go. And just mix our paints together like so. Okay. So we almost we're almost done with our embellishments. Take a look how our emblems look. Oh, oh, it's really beautiful. There we go. So, like I said, you don't have to be super precise with painting. You can just highlight the texture, and your project will have this 
nice, nice, nice pop. Here we go. So we've got our elements pretty much all ready. Now what I will do, I will take a white and just uh, highlight the bristles on my brush like so. So it's well loved. It's all layers and layers. Here we go. So this this technique is really good to um, get your uh, embellishments a little bit of a uh, highlights the areas where you miss stuff with painting, and is also take a look how all the details coming along. Yeah, people are loving your your work. Blanche is saying it's gorgeous. Oh, and thank then you. we have Mila, beautiful work. They are thank really you, enjoying their, their time. They are taking so many uh, inspiration from you. They are enjoying your tips. Uh, it's amazing, this life. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful you all enjoying it. It's all for you. It's it's all about having this great time together. Why why this this is what is all about uh, the the live stream, the live show, and it's all about having a good time and enjoying the process, uh, inspiring each other. We all learn from each other. So, crafty family is the best. Like I said earlier, and I'll repeat a million times, is the best. I have another comment. N next, we need to see Stamperia make a Jack and the Beans talk collection. I will take <laughs> no notes, and the, at the end, I will write a report, and I will share this report with, with my bosses. OK, OK. I'm sure Giovanni will come up with some good resolution for that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we have to make Giovanni crafting as well, haven't we? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my embellishments are ready. Uh, I will just clean my desk from the mess what I've got left over with the paints. Uh, so I will not um, apply anything on my project unexpectedly because this is something what we not want to happen. So just clean my desk. There we go. Okay, clean my hands as well, so I'm not smudging anything. Perfect. Uh, we have all the comments. Lady Fair is saying, hi, just joined. It's important to play and explore when you're creating. Oh, yeah, thank you, Lady Fair. Welcome. Thank you for making time to join me today. Okay. The one thing what I'm going now for is I'm highlighting with passion from my embellishments, like so. There we go. Oh, beautiful. So this is what we have. So I think our texture paste is pretty much dry by now, I think. If not, I will just use a bit of a hot um, a gun to dry it, just uh, make sure nothing will just smush and then we can start building our composition and beforehand we can create more embellishments using another amazing stamp set this one which is nature is art how beautiful the sentiment is of course nature is the art and is the yeah. best ever uh, we have the code for this stamp set wtkcc200 Perfect. So I will be using comment. Okay. this stamp. Uh, this stamp, you can take it apart and you can use it separately because the center of this stamp, it comes apart like so. So oh. you can create two beautiful embellishments. You can create just a frame on its own or you can create with the center uh, this center is perfect to use, for example, if you will be maybe using in, for example, art journaling, uh, like a stamp. That is a perfect shape of a stamp, isn't it? It's really, really beautiful. It is perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Gorgeous. So I have a piece of a cardstock and I will just stamp my uh, frame there. And then I will add a bit of a 
color as well because we have to keep the same tones on our project uh, green and blue and a bit of a brown i'm not introducing any new colors to it because it will be just too much it, it will mm -hmm. be just a bit of a uh, too much going on it will be too too striking People in the comments are sending us so many hearts because I asked, I asked them to send out us a, a heart train and they are sending us so many hearts. And it, it's so overwhelming. Thank you, guys. It's oh, beautiful seeing all this love. So thank you so much, everyone. You are the best. Thank you. The family thank you. is the best. The Imperia family is the best, isn't it? Mm, yeah. I'm really enjoying my my time with them. And of course, people in the comments, people who are following us, don't forget to like and share this live to win a fantastic pizza box. Please remember to do that. You have to be in it to win it. So don't forget to and share and like it. the video. Thank you. You have to be in it to win it. Don't forget to share and like. Okay, so we've got our stamps not perfect impression on the first one but that's nothing to worry because we're gonna cover that partially with creating layers and layers let me bring my project for you so you can see what i will be aiming for so we've got these frames stuck underneath and we've got those beautiful emblems on top so it, those elements are not fully visible so the impression of your stamping doesn't have to be super perfect now, if you if you really very precise, that if you want to have a super crispy impression, then you can use, for example, stamping platform, and you can create those beautiful images that way. I'm not aiming for super coverage, like I said, because partially they will be covered, so I don't have to like super concentrate. Something is missing there, right? Perfect. It's really beautiful your project. I love I love it. <laughs> also, people <laughs> in, so in the in the comments, they are they. Are, in, uh, with all these hearts, uh, we have Patricia who's saying, love it. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you so much, dear. I'm so super happy you're loving and enjoying the process. I'm really, really super grateful for that. Uh, we have a question. Chris Christina is asking, what ink do you use on the stamps? Um, I'm using archival ink. It's a coffee shade. Uh, any color, whatever you have on hand, you can use it. Because this, this project, like I said, is green, blue, and brownish, that's why I'm stamping with brown color. If you want to stamp with black, it will be more popping, it will be more visible. But that's something I don't want to go at this time. I don't want to have it too striky. I I'm, I'm just want to keep it in the same tones. Perfect. Okay, so I will color my embellishments what i will be adding to my composition and again i'm going back to the same blue and green uh, allegro paints which is nature green kal30 and indian turquoise kll 109 if anyone missed it if anyone just joined it and mm -hmm. would like to know the shades of their paints i'm playing with today so i'm just gonna spray a bit of a water on my paper uh, i'm using watercolor paper so i'm not afraid using water directly on my paper there we go so i'm just going for a bit of a wash like so there we go so my frame is ready and the second one will have a bit of a mixture with the blue and green shades like so Patricia is saying, you are very creative. I love your work. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please uh, follow me on my social medias. There's a uh, lovely um, social community. If, if we all get connected, if we all get growing together, that will be super, super awesome. So my YouTube channel is Anna's Passion. Uh, my That's Facebook so page. Facebook page is also Anna's Passion, and my Instagram is Anna Hubert01. So please find me there and grab some inspiration from the project. I will be more than happy if, if we all get connected. So I'm going to just give a quick dry to my um, embellishments, and then I will cut them and start building a composition.
Okay. We we will read some con comments. Anita is saying so beautiful. Thank you so much. Then we have Rosaline who's saying so beautiful this collection. Share and like. Thank you, Rosaline. Uh, good luck for your pizza box. Then Celine. Okay, here we are on. Okay, okay no. Uh, then we have Celine, love green and blue. Yes, I think that the colors are really, really, really beautiful. I love them. And thank you for all the hearts, for all the love. Thank you, guys. This family is really warming and amazing. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share and like this live to win a fantastic pizza box. And stay with us till the end to see the uh, video presentation of the collection Sleeping Beauty by Dorota Kotovic. So guys, stay with us till the end. This is just a quick glance of what you will see. Oh, okay. we're all waiting yeah. to see the final pro process, haven't we? We're all waiting to see the final uh, elements, what I will add, haven't we? So I think we are ready. As, as you can see, by the time I was playing with my embellishment and creating the paper embellishment, my texture pretty much dry. I just gave a bit of a quick blow and take a look how beautiful background we have there we've got so much going on underneath we've got this beautiful pattern paper what we stick and we've got colors added and we've got a texture we've got stamps in picking through so 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 yummy really beautiful thank you so what we're going to do now we're going to start building our composition uh, so i'm gonna just uh, use maybe a hot glue because I will be adding some um, fabrics, and this is the the most convenient embellish, uh, most convenient type of glue to use. So our fabric will not get the shape, will not move about, and and uh, you know it it will stay in place. Uh, because uh, if I use gel medium for this purpose now, it it obviously will take a time for me to dry, and uh, we don't have that much time. To stay on this life and uh, wait for the gel medium to drive, do it. It will all be here forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have other comments. Thank you, Catherine. Looks amazing the new collection. Thank you, Catherine. It really does. It's amazing, and you will see at the end of this live how amazing it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'd love to see it as well. I haven't seen it yet. So. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> then we have Jane who's saying that the cafe is amazing in, in being so worldwide. It's fab to speak and connect on Facebook in this fab place. I agree with you, Jane. Absolutely, you. Jane. We all have uh, have to have some passions. We all are friends. We all supporting each other. This is the best community you can ever join. So amazing. Then there is Isabella. Uh, this heart looks stunning already. Oh, this is my crafty sister. This is my oh. crafty sister. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, Isabella, also for uh, giving us all the links to Anna, Instagram and YouTube. So I pinned them on the screen so people can see them. Thank you so much, my crafty sister. I hope uh, more people will get connected with me. We're all gonna grab the inspiration from each other and we're all gonna have a good time. So I think we are good to go. I think we're gonna start building our compositions. I've got a couple of uh, elements what I will be adding to my project. Um, unfortunately, Stamperia don't hold any of laces. This is something- I want big notes. <laughs> Again, I, I, I will take notes. <laughs> yes, Giovanni, you will have to create some. I don't know. Yes, yes now he's he's out, outside of the office because he has a call. But uh, but when he will come back, I will I will say to him, you have to create some laces because we we need them. Yes, 
and we need some flowers. Giovanni need to have some flowers. Oh. If that's going to be fabric, if that's going to be a paper flowers, if that's going to be farmer and flowers, we need to have some flowers. I can't live without flowers and we need to have flowers, Giovanni. Please pass that message to Giovanni. Yes, Lorenzo. thank you for these suggest uh, suggestions. I will tell Giovanni about all of them. Yes, we do, we do, do, do need some laces. We all need some flowers. Yeah. Uh, I think someone previously did mention that we need some ribbons. Yes, we would do with some ribbons too. Okay. Vintage so ribbons. Let me see flowers and ribbons. Perfect. Oh, how no, beautiful no. comments. You are inspiring yeah. me so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, my sweet friend. Marisol Navero. Maria oh. from Italy. Hi, hi, Maria. She's saying hi, guys. Uh, a hug for you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. So people in the comments are agreeing with you. <laughs> All of them are are needing laces and flowers. So oh, I, yes. I will tell Giovanni about this. We do course, need sure. flowers. We need. We do need some laces. Yes, we definitely do. So Giovanni will have to get busy and create something stunning, something unique, what's not available elsewhere. Yeah, I will tell him for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, Jenny is saying uh, if we uh, can repeat the links uh, or, or, the, or the names of your social media. So I will write them. So it's An Anna's, uh, Anna's Passion. Passion on YouTube and on Inst uh, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Perfect. And on Instagram? On Instagram, I am on the Anna's, Anna Hubert 01. Perfect. I will look for the comments. We, okay, this is your U YouTube, I pinned it. Perfect. And then, Bye. Anna Hubert 01 for Instagram. Yes, it is. Perfect. Uh, now, if you fancy to check my um, YouTube, then you will find the video of this project where I've created uh, with unboxing my Stemperia goodies and I was playing with this beautiful uh, I'll tell yes collection. So check it out. Maybe you fancy it. You maybe you're enjoying it. So Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so now people have, have every, everything about you. Your Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube. They know everything. <laughs> now, oh. They oh, can see all your, your uh, tutorials and have all, all your tips. Uh, so perfect. Thank you so much, everyone. You are amazing. You are absolutely amazing. Okay, so, Valerie is saying beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you. So I'm just adding a bit of a lace just to add a, um, a bit of an interest to my project, just to make it a bit more romantic. So it's not going to be just plain. Uh, I love laces. So this is why we need laces from Stemperia. <laughs> Yes. And I'm sure many of crafty friends will agree with mm -hmm. that. We need mm -hmm. some laces. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this piece as well. Like yeah, so. this lace is perfect with uh, your composition. So I will push Giovanni to have them in our collection. Oh, yes, please, please do push Giovanni. He, he will have a square head today after all these requests. <laughs> Saying what? <laughs> How will, do I handle this? No. He will. He will say to me, "Okay, look at you. No more lives because you are no more lives. suggestions. <laughs> You're too demanding, people." <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Thank you, Karen. This is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, how lovely. Okay, so now we've we've got pretty much everything ready. We've got. We've got some uh, embellishments what we've created using beautiful Atelier collection. I've brought some laces. I have some um, 
Palmyran flowers who are specially collate, uh, created for this um, project, which match nicely the whole um, shades of the uh, colors going on here. Oh, thank you, May. So very kind of you. You are amazing. So also for our composition, we're going to use these die cuts from uh, Sarah's collection as well. And I will pick the frames and I will pick a couple of brushes just can, to add. Can we see the code of the die cut? Absolutely, we can. Thank so you. Let me just get into it. Uh, which way do I open that this way? Okay. So the code is uh, DFLDC33. Okay, thank you. Okay, Perfect. pleasure. So I'm going to just grab maybe uh, a few brushes. Let's just take all that out. Maybe paints. We can add some paints to our project. Why not? We've got paints underneath. We've got brushes underneath. Uh, I've got the beautiful brush there. Um, maybe this one will do as well. It's in the mm -hmm. color palette, what we have there. Uh, so as you can see, I'm trying to not to recreate exactly the same um, composition, what I have got there, the same elements. I'm just adding a little bit more what I've used on my original project. So it's just all about being creative, just you know, encouraging uh, each other and um, stretching the imagination and choose the different elements so that, that you know, that, that they are a bit different. Yeah, there is a lot, a lot uh, of paints and brushes inside the collection. It's hard to choose one. <laughs> oh, you've got a full pack and yeah. you have, let me just check how many is here. We've got 76 pieces, guys. Whoa. So plenty, plenty, plenty to play with. Absolutely plenty to play with. So I have those here. Uh, and I will be building the composition with those. Okay, so let me bring my project so you will see once again what we have. So this is this Amazing. is the one what it's been published. Uh, so now I will just maybe create composition slightly different. So you can see that you don't have to be super precise and repeat exactly step by step this, 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 go there, then, then, there. You can just, you know, play with the elements and see what applies to your eyes, okay? Just free with your imagination. Absolutely, free your imagination. Okay, so I think I'll go, oh, I can be a bit more courageous, let's say, and maybe create my composition on the other side, why not? Let's do that. Perfect. Jane is saying, just love those, li those little paint brushes. Thank you, Jane. Yes, they are gorgeous, aren't they? They are yeah. great. They seem so real. They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Okay, so this is what we have. Now I need to add a little bit of a um, foam type to my uh, elements because I don't want them to be super flat. I want them to be a little bit raised up and then I will be able to... Uh, build my composition to be more dimensional so it's it's gonna be nicely popping perfect people in the comments are crazy for your composition they are saying <laughs> beautiful like seri uh, lea is saying beautiful then we have annette who's saying lovely so with with a tons of arts so, so they are really enjoying uh, your composition because thank you even, Super, super kind of you. Thank you yeah. so much, everyone. We have people from all over the world. Pepe say hi. As as a sellers some pur amor. Oh, uh, she's saying that your work is beautiful. Thank you, Pepe. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I must say, I'm a bit camera shy. Uh, I'm feeling more comfortable when only my hands on the table, not my face. Oh, right. but that, that's no problem at all. Don't worry. <laughs> it was okay. our first time in a live. 
Oh, yes, <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. So the next medium, what you need to have in your stash, guys, is your best friend as well, is glossy gel. It's a heavy body paste what you can use as your glue. And just a little tip for you as well, because it's a bit thick one, you can also create a beautiful texture using your stencils. So it's very versatile and you can just stretch a little bit your imagination, step out of your comfort zone and just, you know, experiment a little bit. And the code is K3P43. Absolutely, that's your code. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, you're most welcome. So, just need to get into it because it's stuck, my lid stuck a little bit. Right, okay, we're in. Okay. Right, so we have our gel look. How thick it is, it's perfect to play with stencil as well. It's a little bit liquidish, it, it does move in, but you will be able to create a beautiful texture with your stencil as well. Perfect. Anna is saying, Anna, you are so relaxed and everything flows so well. It's a pleasure to watch you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wasn't so relaxed when we started. I was very <laughs> nervous, I must say. It's my first time being here. Thank you so much for inviting me here. And I'm hoping that you all will have a, a great time. You all have a good inspiration and you will be able to uh, play with those beautiful Stemperia's goodies, what Sarah's design. Right. So what we have here, we're starting building our composition like so. And um, maybe we can grab that. We can grab that. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Um, I'm missing frames. Um, I'm gonna go back to my die cut. Um, Joanna is saying you cannot tell it is your first time at all. Doing great. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Joanne. You are so Thanks. super super kind. Thank you. So super kind. This is the beautiful frames what wow. I will be using in a project. Take a look how gorgeous these are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really, beautiful. Really, really. And this is this is what I mentioned with the stamp set. You can pop the middle and mm -hmm. use just a center, or you can just use it together. Perfect. Mm -hmm. awesome. So what we have now, we can just add this. Um, paper elements what we have and I'm gonna just add a bit of a glow because it will adhere quick like so oh pe people are asking you again next week we we want you again next week <laughs> oh thank you so much everyone I never expected to be you know uh, welcome so soon with Stemperia family again, but I'll see what I can do. I'm, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I might not be available next week, but maybe we, we shall see each other soon enough, I hope. Also, Caroline is saying, Anna, you are a good teacher. Thank oh. you, Caroline. You know, the, these people are so sweet. Oh, they are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. You are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I mean it. Amanda is praising us both. You're both doing so well. Very professional. I feel like pros. Beautiful heart. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> oh, how kind. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you so much. How gorgeous. Okay, I think I will stick this frame here. So I'm adding a bit of a foam tape, like I said, just to raise my elements so they're not super flat, so they will just have a nice dimension. Okay, perfect. There we go. So I add this here and I will add this maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I think I'll go go for this and then I will have some flowers or maybe I'll go here hmm now is a question yeah I think I'll go. <laughs> people well, what do you think in the in the in the comments just help Anna to to uh, decide where to place the die cuts yes please help me decide please help me decide please help me crafting because I've lost for a minute <laughs> 
we, we will wait for some suggestions. We will, we will wait for some suggestions. Perfect. So just to have a bit of a, uh, like a mirror reflection going on mm -hmm. on my project. So as you can see, my composition is going in the angle. And my uh, original project, it was based on the right hand side and it was going at that angle. So now I'm reflecting to the left hand side. So because I've used those elements, I want to keep the balance underneath. So I will use the elements there as well, like so. Okay, the, uh, we have some suggestions. Maria is saying uh, down, while Alison is saying in the middle. So we have some conf confusion. So, so it is some... a bit of a confusion, isn't it? <laughs> Annette is saying under the brushes, everyone who wants them in a different place. Yes, yes. Um, well, to be to be honest, we can just maybe twist it into the side like so. Oh, nice. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. but then we have a, a lot of word, uh, word love here on the, on the angle, but that doesn't make much, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we should <laughs> We shall see when we'll stick mm -hmm. them down. Right, so I will just add those elements as well. And I will just add a bit of a hot glue there. Because we're using fabric to fabric, we don't have to use gel medium for that. We had to use gel medium because we were gluing the uh, elements on the texture paste. So just to make sure it will not come apart because um, hot glue is a little bit um, coming hard when it dries so it not gives this much flexibility so gel medium have that flexibility when it dries so it, it, it is the tip for you to take away and then i will add this flower there as well like so now we can concentrate on the brushes maybe we'll stick them like that. I think I'll go like this. So it will be nicely visible elements of the frame and this one, it will not be covered completely. So I think I'll go for that. Lady Fair is saying, thank you for the tip on the hat and this i so good to know. Yes, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. I'm hoping that there is plenty of uh, tips and inspiration for you all to take away and try it yourself and having a good time. Perfect. Okay, uh, so now I'm gonna add my brushes to my project, like so. Now, if you're using hot glue and you're using any embellishments, if you don't want them just to completely go flat onto your surface, they will be just having a little bit dimension. Don't press it too hard. It will still stick well. So as you can see, I'm adding a fair amount of a glue and just placing them without pressing. So they will still stick nicely. Perfect. Li Liliana Borrey is saying, uh... In Spanish, hermoso proyecto, saludos desde Quito, Ecuador. She's saying that your project is beautiful and uh, and she's saying hello from Ecuador. Hi, Liliana. Oh, hello, Liliana. Hello from Ecuador. Hello. So oh, from amazing. all over the world. So we've got those paint tubes. So I'm thinking I will use maybe those one there and maybe the other one will go on this one between the brushes we're just gonna give it a try how everything will look like so so this is this is just a trial this is just a play time and those small brushes i'm thinking just to fill up there so the composition will have loads of elements loads of details and it will be just fully completed there we go i think i'm happy with that what do you think my beautiful crafty friends are you happy with that i love it it's really really beautiful love it love oh, it. people well, in the comment are saying anna it's looking so pretty and precious thank you sue oh thank you sir so very kind yeah. thank you so and much we have, uh, Mukita. anna beautiful project Thank you. Thank you, Makita. 
Then again, Valerie, who's saying gorgeous, uh, Christina, who's saying love it. We have so many, many people. Uh, Penny is saying, oh my goodness, this will look so pretty hanging on the door to a craft room. Yes, it definitely will. Okay, shall I, shall I sell my surprise now? I was holding it to the end, but I, th I think I'm going to just sell my surprise now. And we'll say that now. So maybe more people will stay to the end. <laughs> or yeah. maybe if anyone need to go, I'm sorry, but you will you will absolutely miss this absolutely amazing chance. Um, for the one person uh, after my life, I will choose a lucky winner who will grab the project from today live. What do Whoa. you think? Well, yes. will... It's an amazing idea, yes. I will post it world live, so don't worry about it. Whatever country you are based on, you still will have a chance to, to be in it, to win it, to grab my project. And I will write a special dedication at the back wow. for you. That's an amazing chance for our Stamperia family. You're most welcome, Stamperia family. We, we all love each other, aren't we? Yes, it's a beautiful family and I would like to remind you guys to stay with me and Anna, and Anna till the end because we will reveal the new Sleeping Beauty collection by Dorota Kotovitz. So stay with us because it will be amazing. And of course, uh, try to win this beautiful art project by Anna that is going on her social media and just like her, her tips and her tutorials. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lucrezia. Yeah. You are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We are receiving a tons of art right now. Oh, how gorgeous. Thank you, everyone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just uh, put my flowers. I'm going to build a composition with my flowers. Uh, they match in perfectly the whole composition, mm -hmm. the whole uh, color scheme, what we use on the project. Uh, they are in a bit of a, a brownish, greenish, a bit of a um, yellowish with a bit of a hint of a pink. Why not? Just to have a little bit highlight. We've got this beautiful vintage flower. We've got a couple of little ones there. So I'm going to just build a composition with those. These are all handmade. I'm uh, absolutely loving uh, flower making. So this is one of the things what I also do. And obviously, all the details you will find on my social media, what I'm doing, what's my passion. So please follow me there. I will be super happy if you do that. We have also people from Oslo. Hi, Bensi. Oh, hi. hi. Hello from Oslo. And then we have Gloria. You did a beautiful job today. Thank you. I hope to see more of your work very soon. Oh, I'm super happy to hear that. Thank you so much. And I'm super happy Stamperia invited me for this uh, live stream today. I, I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I was very nervous thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm... I'm here first time, what am I doing? But with with all these beautiful comments, what you're giving me today is just amazing. Thank you ever so much, everyone. You are amazing. Oh, perfect. And then oh, we have uh, Karen who's sing an amazing artist. Oh, thank you <laughs> so, so, so much. Amazing to hear you're loving it. Thank I'm you. I'm so happy that uh, our Sambria family is loving our life together. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I am super happy because, like I said, I was quite nervous thinking <laughs> if if it's going to be okay, if everybody will enjoy it and all that. But thank you. You've made my day. You've made my day. You certainly did made my day, everyone. You are super, super, super amazing. Okay. Awesome. So, so I'm going to just stick my flowers. Uh, I've got a rough idea where my flowers will go. There we go. Then we have, oh, Annette is saying, good job, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Annette. Thank you. Super, super lovely. Yeah, it was my first time, so I'm, I'm just trying. <laughs> 
Lucrezia, I think I think you smashed it today, being being uh, my um, hosting me today, being here and uh, you know keeping an eye on everything what's going on. So I'm not losing the plot. Oh, Anna, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm super happy. I I've I've been invited and I'm super happy. Everybody loving and, and enjoying the time with me is is amazing to hear that. Oh, uh, Carolyn is saying the heart is so beautiful, very nice composition. People are just loving your works. Oh, thank you so super much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing. Thank you. Okay, so I will stick this little flower there. So I will be picking through between the all layers. I will put this one there just to fill the gap there is a little bit empty space so this is the idea for you everyone how you can build the composition you don't have to concentrate on just one place just play around with your elements just extend it so your composition will have a nice flow so it will not be just blob 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 in one place if you know what i mean yeah yeah we understood perfectly <laughs> the sound. I hope that's perfect explanation, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. I think this bow will go there. So it will be nicely picking through the whole composition. There we go. So we've got our vintage, vintage bow there. There we go. Uh, I think we are good to go with my final elements, which is passion. Yes, nice. we all have a passion to craft. I think I will just move this paintbrush a little bit because it will be covered by the, uh, my embellishment. So I will just take that off a little bit. You, you're okay, you can do that because you we've used a hot glue gun there so you can just peel it off and because we've sticked it on fabric you still have a time to do that if you would have used the uh, gel medium it obviously will dry longer uh, but you can still absolutely just uh, move it and replace it to different area okay so so we will see every die cut uh, at the end of the composition Yes, this is what I'm aiming for. I don't want the, the, this beautiful paint uh, tube to be covered. I want it to be visible. There we go. Perfect. And we still have the beautiful uh, layers and texture going through. It's still visible. Our laces, it's still there. It's not covered, so don't worry, don't panic. It is still there. Amazing. Nicoletta is a so wonderful composition and project, Anna. Congrats. Oh, thank you so much, Nicoletta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very, very kind. Thank you. Okay. I think I will go for that. So I'm mm -hmm. going to just stick my paint tube again. So I'm adding hot glue. It dries quick. There we go. It will be nicely visible underneath, under my passion embellishment there and um i've applied gel medium underneath there um and we can also use a bit of a hot glue so it will seal quicker because we've got fewer uh, layers and layers dimension going on so we don't want our elements to fall apart so that's why we secure them with gel medium so once the hot glue it sticks we still have a, a gel medium for security there to hold everything together so it will stick forever <laughs> yes definitely it will it will hold in place for good that's definitely there we go and i think i will just add this little flower hmm i think maybe maybe yes maybe oh maybe there or maybe okay this one will go there so we'll have a bit of a mm -hmm. contrast going on Yes, I think I will be aiming for this. Oh, green, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Or maybe just there. Yes, I will go for this one there. I think it will be nicely picking behind the frame. Okay, so I think we are almost done. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. I think we are almost done. So I'll just stick my final 
elements down and to finish off my project we got to go a little bit crazy of course we have to have a bit of a bling 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 going on, on our project. <laughs> a little bit of that sparkles yes <laughs> And we have this beautiful, oh. beautiful product, Glamour Sparkles from Amazing Stamperia. Oh, the camera is not in focus. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, okay I think we are good that. That's your code if you need that. Okay, K3 double G S15. Okay, that's Bruce, your code. In the comments and pinned. We've got this beautiful, beautiful glitter. It's a very thick glitter and it's also shiny. It looks like it's been a little bit oxidized because it's also got that, that bit of a silver hint on it. It's absolutely mm, mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I have to tell Giovanni to send me a whole palette of those because I love, 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 love them. Now that Giovanni is back, you, you can ask him about your uh, new suggestions about the laces, the flowers, the ribbons. <laughs> Giovanni, do you hear that? We are in demand of laces. We are in demand of ribbons and flowers. You have to think about that. We all love them. We all love them. <laughs> yes, glamour sparkles. Yes, we love glamour sparkles. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just add a little bit of a gel medium in places you can use your finger for that you can use a brush whatever rocks your boat whatever you want to play with i'm just gonna be you know very courageous and use my finger just to add a bit of a gel medium in places because i will be sprinkling this beautiful beautiful glamour sparkle yeah i'm loving this product it's absolutely yummy Yummy, yummy. That is insane. This is absolutely awesome. I really think I'm going to have to try making it. Yes, Linda, try. Please do try and please share your uh, make with us all. You can tag me in your social medias so I can pop over and make comments. I can see what you've come up with. And it will be lovely if we all get connected together. Yes, also don't forget to tag us because we will repost your artworks. Yes, Stamperia family is absolutely amazing to promote you all. So don't, don't, don't forget to do that. Okay, so I'm going to just sprinkle my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wow. glamour sparkle. Yes, uh, these sparkles are really catching the light. They are gorgeous. They yeah, are so I, I, gorgeous. I can see the light also through the video, through the camera. Oh, can I mean, you? Yes, um, I'm seeing them sparkling. Yummy, yummy. They are absolutely super, super, super cool. So you all have to have those glamour sparkles in your stash. You have to play with them because they are yum, yum, yum. You will love them. I'm hoping that I've shared as many tips, as many ideas, how you can step out of your comfort zone, try something new, experiment with the products. With Stamperia products, you have so many possibilities. Never doubt yourself to trial. This is this is my advice for you all. So I'm sure you will love it, you will enjoy it, and having a good time. Advice. Right, so wow. I'm gonna just tap off the excess of my glamour. They all go in back to the jar, don't worry, nothing is wasted. Uh, we have a question. It sounds like glass glitter. Is it glass? Yes, it is actually like a glass glitter. It's really, really super yummy. Super yummy. So this is my project, everyone. This is my project. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. And I will select one lucky winner who will grab this project from me. And like I said, I will be posting World Live, so you will be able to have the opportunity to get that from me in a post. That's a great opportunity. It's really a great opportunity. So I will be back here with you guys. We will wait for Anna to be back with us. I will so, have many, many comments. 
So, uh, we have Germaine, Anna, you did such a fabulous tutorial this morning. And, Lu and Lucrezia, you are a great host. Welcome. Thank you both for the great start to my day. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Germaine. Amazing. You Thank are you. lovely. You are lovely. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. Thank you for the invitation. I'm super grateful for all this time and all your beautiful comments, my lovely crafty friends. Thank you so much. You've made my day. Thank you, Lucrezia, Thank for hosting you. me. It was amazing. <laughs> So now I think it's time. Oh, just wanted to say you did a great job. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you, Giovanni. Thank you. Thank you. That's super, super awesome to hear. Thank you. Uh, it's, is, is it time to show them the video? Sure I think. Okay. I think we are good to go. Thank you so much again. Okay. Thank you. And um, okay. This is our presentation of the new collection by Dorota Kotovic's Sleeping Beauty. And we are back. So I've seen that you loved our new collection. People are saying very pretty, enchanting, marvelous. It's Anna, beautiful and... collection, absolutely gorgeous. Did you see all these details there? It's wow, yeah. absolutely yum, yum, yummy. And guys, what you have to know is uh, you you have uh, to, uh, to pre-order the, the collection uh, while going to your favorite shop and ask to your favorite shop to pre-order this new collection, they will get it, and then you will you you can buy uh, the new collection from your resellers. Yes, please do that. Don't miss it because you will love it, you will enjoy it, and you can create so many beautiful projects. So I think I will just uh, turn my camera and we'll say goodbye to everyone and oh, thank yes. everyone for having me here. So guys, pre-order this new collection to your favorite shop. Okay, sorry, it's gonna be a little bit wobbly now. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't. I will put. Oh, I'll there we are. Here we are. Oh, okay. Let me bring, let me bring oh. the project. 
So this it's is what we really, have. Really, really beautiful. Okay, here so I am. This is, this is the project what we have made today together. And this is my project what was posted to invite you for today's life with me. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you for being here with me. And you absolutely made my day. It was such a pleasure to, to be here with you. Thank you, Stemperia, for inviting me. Also for me, it was great. It was a really nice first life together. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We did it. We, we, we did it in the end. We so, did it. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for your amazing work. Uh, thank you, everyone who, who has been together till the end. And just share and like the video to, to win a pizza box and pre-order now our new collections. Absolutely. We, we, Please, I think that people, yeah. yes, pe people saw already the Alice uh, uh, Through the Looking Glass collection and the Horses collection. So it's now flying. It's flying. I'm with now. it. <laughs> So you have uh, so many collections, co collections for your new creations, guys. <laughs> Don't miss it. You have to have them. You yeah. will love them. You will enjoy them. So once again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank and like you I said, so I'm like one lucky winner who will grab the project from me, and I will post it as soon as possible. So uh, with a special dedication at the back. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. So we can close it, I think. Okay. So thank you, Anna, and see you in the next live. <laughs> see you soon. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye, guys. Enjoy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.